Hello everyone, and this is not a video about another iron cladded four lever sleigh maker railroad padlock. This is more for wallpaper, and this is really a tie-in between another video I made in regards to what to look for when uh, buying antique padlocks. And there's a word that seems to come up routinely from sellers in their descriptions of their products. And these are the kind of sellers I generally don't like to do business with because they can be uh, really ignorant about what they're selling and I can appreciate certain terminology based on their ignorance. But let's pretend for a moment that they aren't ignorant and they are selling something that they're trying to get top dollar based on the illusion of what they're presenting in terms of the photos of the item being listed. Now some sellers will do a pretty good job. They'll show top view, side view, the keyway. But what happens when they make comments like beautiful looking, sold as is? Please ask any questions. But if you try asking questions, watch how fast you get no response or you get blocked. Now, if you're one of those sellers out there that does this, you're probably not going to like my video. So I've had enough of this, and I decided to really raise the question to uh, eBay's customer support. I think they're out of Indonesia. Not that really makes a difference, but they have a really good communication team, and I really get a quick response. So I was looking at a um, pancake padlock that to me you can totally tell that the lock has been restamped you can see pry marks on the seam of the uh, pile of the padlock where it's been lifted and these are the kind of things that i've admonished you guys in the past to look for and uh, clearly this lock has been hacked as i would say and of course the seller says no refund no returns sold as is but then if you go to the middle of the page it says that it's protected under eBay's buyer protection. Now, that's kind of a contradiction. So I wanted eBay to tell me specifically what it is in their reporting, when you can report an item, that seems to um, uh, classify these type of sellers for uh, bad business practices that would violate eBay's policy. Well, the truth of the matter is, guys, there really is nothing in there. And, and they kind of admitted that. But um, here's what I wrote to them, and I'll, and I'll read this. And they, they, they took it from this angle of, well, the lock wasn't authentic. And I'm like, no, it's authentic. It's just been repaired. This is what I wrote. The lock is authentic. That's not the problem. Even though it's been taken apart, I guess you could say it's not factory intact. The problem is sellers are using the term as is as a blanket to prevent refunds and returns. How do you report a seller who is creating a selling environment and contradicts get what you bought according to the item description or get your money back? Here the seller is saying the buyer accepts full responsibility for the condition of the product. For me, I have a reasonable expectation of owning a working product and even though the item says nothing about working or not working. So I told the representative, I said, I would like you to tell me exactly what policy sellers are violating when a seller lists an item as is. I will tell you that this is a bad listing practice and it is designed to protect the seller, not the buyer. I have a chance of receiving something that is broken, working, or repaired. Oh, but if I discover that this is the case, the seller will say, oh, as is, and block me from buying from them again. And I asked the guy to be more specific. And uh, he wrote back, Thank you for writing to eBay customer support regarding listings of sellers who are using word as is in the listing. My name is blah, blah, blah. I have shared detailed information to address this situation. Uh, he said, let me assure you that using the one word as is will not prevent a seller from refunding or doing returns. In fact, using words which might misguide the buyers will make the buyer protected under eBay money back guarantee. And he further wrote, 
I agree that this might be creating contradicting selling environment, but even if a seller is not accepting the terms, eBay will assist the buyer with refunds in case they find such contradicting information on the listing. Any text which contradicts or creates confusion in the mind of buyer may fall under images and text policy. This is not just applicable for as-is keywords, but it is applicable for any similar such keyword. To know more about this policy, they gave me a link. So he says, if you receive something broken, working or repaired, you will have protection. I guess he meant not working. You will have protection on eBay. Even if seller says they have said as is, it does not mean that the product can't, that, that, that doesn't mean the product can be broken or contain any defects. Even if seller does not accept returns, we will force the seller to accept returns in that case. Wow. Uh, those last two lines really resonate with me. So basically what eBay is saying, and they don't have a really written policy on this violation, that if a seller uses contradicting terminology that tries to trump eBay's buyer protection policy, doesn't matter. They're going to force that seller to give you a refund. So, um, and the thing I will also tell you that if you try to ask any questions about some of these items, and I probably said it earlier in this video, the seller will block you. And of course, if you do have to do a refund, they're going to block you permanently. Now, let's be fair, guys, even handed about this. How many of us have bought locks with very, very obscure information oh but as is either they don't know or they do know that's why i always kind of look at what other items they're selling if they're selling a bunch of locks and they really are in the history of selling locks and they just have a, a long pattern of selling locks and they start using words like as is well yeah i guess you can look at their feedback and there's other clues but if you try to ask more specific information, more often than not, you're not going to get a response or you're going to get a very negative one. And uh, it's happened to me a few times. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed my wallpaper. This is another project lock that I'm, I'm working on. Um, in any case, I, I hope you learned something. I'm glad to see that eBay is on, on the, um, the buyer's side on this. So, guys, if you're one of those sellers out there that's using the word as is, uh, buyer beware. No, seller beware. Thank you for watching.